Good day po. This is Engineer De La Cruz. And for today, we will discuss about the reinforced concrete design with respect to shear failure. Okay? So, we will solve it or design it according to the simplified calculation. So, let me show you first the NCP code revision. So, we will use the updated code revision. Okay? This is for shear. The shear strength provided by concrete for non pre stressing members. Okay. So this is the simplified calculation. So it's in ability the shear strength VC shall be computed by provision of this section up to this section unless a more detailed calculation is made in accordance to this section. Okay. So um, the simplified calculation is a more conservative design. And it is common, commonly used in the board exam. So, ito lang muna i-discuss natin. Okay? Because the important is the principle behind the shear. Okay? So, this is the first section. For members subject to shear and flexure only. So, we have this formula. Then, for members subject to axial compression. So, observe, no? Um, dagdagan lang ng factor dito but the same formula si TAS okay then sinabi dito NU over AG shall be expressed in megapascal okay that NU is the normal or the actual compression stated here and so in our sample problem makikita natin yan okay then meron din um, dagdag na code provision dito for circular members, the area used to compute VC shall be taken as the product of the diameter and effective depth of the concrete section. So, what is the um, area used? So, yan. Huh? Looking at this formula. So, this is the effective area of the concrete. No? So, sinabi niya, this, this, uh, VC shall be taken as the product of the diameter. No? The area, so... Um, the product of the diameter and the effective depth. So, this BW dito is um, i-replace natin ng diameter ng cross-sectional uh, I mean, a circular section. Okay? At state, it is stated here, it shall be permitted to take the effective depth as 80% of 0.8 times the diameter. So, replace B here as 0.8 of the diameter. Okay? So, before we start the problem, uh, we will discuss the principle behind the shear. Okay, so, um, assume a beam, the cross-section of a beam, okay, that is a rectangular beam, and we cut at this portion, then we will expose the internal shear. So, that is the VU, so factor shear, yeah, okay, critical factor shear or the, I mean, the, Required shear that is the correct um, name, huh? that is the required shear or means and sinasabi nila the ultimate. Okay. So, it, um, assume uh, we are applying the shear veer uh, here at uh, this section um, that will be counteracted by the concrete. So, that is PVC, where VC is the nominal shear strength capacity of the concrete. So, we have a multiplier, a reduction factor. Ito yung, uh, pag multiply ka na ng reduction factor, magiging design yan. Okay? So, at this uh, scenario, when VU is greater than VC, so, mas malaki yung applied factor load natin sa PVC, stirrups is necessary. So, that means, tutulong na yung stirrups. Kaya, ganyan yung drawing, no? If hindi na kaya ng concrete, dito na tutulong yung stirrups. Okay. So, that is a, the first case. Now, we have this case. When half of this PVC is greater than VU, so, at this case, um, the stirrups will not be needed. Okay. Stirrups is not necessary. Okay. So, the third case, when VU is in between the PVC and the half of PVC. So, sinabi sa code na minimum area of the stirrups is needed. Okay? 
where the formula is here. This is given in the code. Huh? So, um, in designing kasi for shear reinforcement or stirrups, ang inahanap um, actually is yung spacing, which is S. Okay? Uh, kasi binibigyan na yung diameter ng stirrup, so we can we will compute this AD by the diameter. Okay? But commonly in our exam, CE board exam, um, the common case will come up is this. Um, VU is always greater than VBC. Okay? So, kayo na lang mag-go deep dyan. So, then, um, looking at this figure, uh, we can say that this VU is equal to this design shear. Equal or it is safe to say that is equal or lesser than than this design shear. So, ito yung design shear strength capacity ng beam. So, bakit naging lesser or equal yan? Because in this side, we must uh, uh, meet the criteria na mas malakas yung capacity ng beam. Okay? Dapat mas malakas ito sa applied shear. So, that is the logic behind it. Now, factor up this P, that is common these two, where this BC plus DS, ito yung tinatawag ng nominal shear strength capacity ng beam. Okay? If we have reduction factor T, that is the design capacity of the beam. Okay? Maliwanag lang. Now, so, it, we will come up to this ano, equation or inequality. So, ito yung nakikita natin sa mga books. Now, uh, reduction factor, they have 0.85 for NSCP 2001, 0.75 for the updated NSCP. We take note, this reduction factor are for shear lang. Okay? But we cannot use this reduction factor for 2001 because our sample problem will be the 2010 or 2015 NSCP. Okay, now let's start solving our sample problem. The beam shown is reinforced with 8 28mm tension bars. So this is the tension bars and 216mm compression bars. This is the compression bars. Um, having tensile strength of 415 MPa and compressive strength that is FC prime 27 MPa. Use NSCP 2001. Um, Paki correct lang po ito. This is 2010. Hindi ko na edit. This is NSCP 2010. So, the problems are compute the nominal shear strength provided by the concrete. The nominal shear strength provided by the shear reinforcement. So, that is the stirrups. Assume spacing of stirrups near the support to be 100 millimeters. So, we have the spacing here. So, this problem must be investigation. So, binigay ng spacing pinapa-investigate ang capacity ng beam. Calculate the shear strength provided by the beam. So, yan yung um, design shear strength or phi BN. Pag sinabing design, dapat may phi reduction factor. Okay? So, we have the dimensions here. Then, sa drawing, nakaspecify na the stirrups is 10 mm in diameter. U stirrups. So, U stirrups kasi from this drawing naka form to you then FYT specified yield strength capacity ng stirrups okay so first that is the drawing so we will be needing this um, effective depth okay effective depth is where the um, plastic centroid of the reinforcement tension risk in a reinforcement okay, that must be at the center lang no? kasi the same lahat ang diameter dyan so, we can compute this bus by, by looking at this figure lang, 590 minus 90. Okay. So, ito yun. Okay. Part 1, hinahanap is the nominal shear strength capacity ng B. So, that is the BC, nominal. BC lang. Now, according to this section, for members subject to flexure only, the formula is given by this. Okay. So, ito lang yun, no? Ang um, BW is the bottom width of the beam. Okay? So, ito yun palagi sa ilalim. So, ang um, section natin kanina is a T-beam. Okay? That is T-beam. So, 
you will take BW as always the bottom width of the beam. Okay. Now if I click that, you can solve that. That is from the figure canina. H minus A will come up to this value, 500 millimeters. Okay. Now this lambda factor um, that is commonly taken as 1.0, that is for normal weight of concrete. So uh, meron provision din dyan, but commonly that is 1.0 talaga. Pag hindi stinate, automatic 1.0. So substituting all the values, the answer must be 132.5 kN. Okay. Take note, ang lalabas dito is naka newtons. So kinonvert ko na lang. Now, for part 2, hinahanap is the required shear, I mean the shear strength capacity of the shear reinforcement. Okay? That is the Vs. Ito yun, Vs. So, ito yung formula. Ano? AVFYT times M. So, FYT dapat yung force stirrups yung gagamitin natin. No? Specified tensile strength of these stirrups. AV is the area of the stirrups, cross-sectional area. So, paano ba tandaan itong formula na ito? So, for this, uh, we know that uh, this Vs is force. Okay? Now, in, in engineering principle or formulas, uh, very common to force is equal to stress times area, where stress is Fyt and area. This is AD, area. Okay? my multiplier na n lang for n is b over s so we will elaborate this sa dogali so imagine a beam looking at the side view and we will cut up this portion ito lang yung importante na this is the effective depth d ito yung tension bar compression bar sa taas ito yung stirrups okay so in the shear failure ganito yung magiging itsura no now, sinabi sa code na the critical section of the beam is at a B distance. The critical section, ito natin hahanapin yung shear V. Okay? It has, it will be at the B distance from the face of the support. Assuming this is the face of the support. Okay? So, from this figure, we can say that D is equal to S times N. So, N is number of spacing kung ilang nandyan. Okay. So, cross multiplying, N is equal to D over S. Kaya naging ganito. But the general name of that N, that is the number of stirrups at a D distance. Okay? Kasi itong V, it will, it will be counteracted by this internal shear reinforcement. Because V is internal force, so dapat mayroong counteracting internal force rate. So, ito yung i-provide -pro ng shear reinforcement stirrups. Okay? Pero bakit naging S to? Because, uh, we'll look at this na, kung ilan yung number of spacing dyan, ito yung number of spacing din ng stirrups. Okay? Uh, Panwari ito. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this uh, number of spacing is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, half dito, and half dito ng S. So, naging 5 dyan. So, tributary um, width yan. Okay? Now, we will, um, we will come up to this formula. Uh, simplifying this. Ito yung nakikita natin sa books. Okay? So, makukuha na natin yung shear Vs. Now, define AB. Since binigay yung um, diameter ng stirrups, circle, that is pi over 4 times D, 10 squared, times 2. Bakit times 2 yan? Because we know that is a U stirrup. So, dalawa. Ito yung dalawa yung magka-counteract sa shear. Factor shear. Okay? Kaya naging 2 yan. So, that is the AB. Now, substituting all the values, the VS must be 215.98 kN. Okay? Now, for part 3, hinahanap is the design shear strength. So, design dapat merong reduction factor phi. Where phi is 0.85 for 2001. So, sorry na hindi ko na eh, dito dapat 0.75 yan. So, paki-correct na lang. 
Now, um, Vn is Vc plus Vs. So, ito yun. Then, P, Vn, sorry, um, design shear strength ng B. So, 0.75. Pakicorrect lang ito. That is 0.75 then 2010. Okay? So, that will be the answer. The design shear strength. So, that's it for sample problem 1. So, this problem is is investigation. Pina investigate ko ano yung shear capacity ng B. So for our sample problem two, that will be in the next next video. And that will be the a design problem. Okay. So I hope you understand. So thank you and God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.